Hi, this is Design Tutorials and in this short video we are going to learn how to add a hyperlink to a PDF file in Adobe Illustrator. Now if you only wish to use Adobe Illustrator for this method then there are two ways of doing that. First there is a default approach where you simply uh, use the type tool to paste the entire web link that you wish to use in your PDF file as a web link. So you simply need to write it as a text layer and then save it as a PDF file and it will work as a web link on its own you will not have to do anything else so if you only need to present your web link as a web link in the textual form then there is no problem for you simply paste it and it will work fine and let me show you how it's going to look like so this is a PDF uh, document that I just showed you and this is a link I was talking about and you notice that once I bring my cursor on top of the link it changes it to this hand icon and if I click on it or right click on it I could open it separately like this so here is a website used in the link shown here okay now what if you wish to use some sort of a button or image as a web link instead of plain text in that scenario you will have to use some sort of a work around here if you only wish to use Adobe Illustrator because the actual approach for such cases is to use Adobe Acrobat because it allows you to edit PDF files. So it becomes very easy if you have access to this tool because it's not a free tool so you might not have one. So in case we are assuming that uh, you don't have access to the Adobe Acrobat and you only have Adobe Illustrator. So in that uh, case we are going to use a different approach for this purpose. So all you need to do is as we know that if you write down the entire link it works fine but not the image we cannot use image as web link so what we're going to do now is first of all we're going to place the text on top of the image like this okay and then we could use some taller font like impact okay and then we could increase the size like this so that it covers the entire shape move it a bit like this and then what we're going to do now we're going to go to the properties and from here I'm going to reduce the opacity to zero and that's it now I'm going to save it as PDF again This time I'm going to call it my document underscore two and PDF save and yeah let's go with the default that's it now I'll go to this particular document and open it in Google Chrome now in this particular PDF that we have saved now you will notice that this button is now working as a web link instead of the text here that I showed you earlier like this so instead of this one now we have a button here on the subscribe button instead but actually we have simply overlapped the web link text on top of the image that we wish to I use as a button or clickable object so now as you can notice that uh, it is clickable so I will click on it and it will open the website so that's it I hope this video has helped you in resolving this particular issue if it has if you found it helpful don't forget to support this channel by subscribing to it by liking this video and drop any comments if you have some questions have a nice day